everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Slime 3K. It is a deck builder bullet heaven, which uh, the deck building will come into play later. Currently, it's we're stuck with the default deck and can't change it too much. Uh, so we're just going to have to roll with it. There is some meta progression, but yeah, none of my progress from the demo carried over. So, the way this game works is we kill enemies, fill up our EXP bar, and get upgrades. Ah, we actually start with one right off the bat. That's nice. Uh, so... Uh, fill up our EXP bar, and it will summon one of these vending machines. It seems like we get a, uh, just an automatic amount of money every time we open one of these up. So in this case, I get uh, $8 reduced to spend on whatever I want. Could have upgraded the shop here, but whatever. Now, does it? Yeah, so it looks like I just gained 8 no matter what. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to scale that. Let's upgrade the shop now. Uh, let's see. Buy the money box for reasons. And do we buy any of these? No. Yes? I don't know. I'm going to kind of hoard my money a little bit. We want to get to a, get up to a higher tier. Because I'm not going to benefit too too much from the lower tier abilities. And it's better to spend the money on blues. Uh, let's see. Now I could sell this. Keep this in your active abilities until the next shop. Sell it for four. Okay, so I could up upgrade the shop again if I wanted to. Or I could buy shots pierced through your first target. Ah, penetration is just a passive effect. That's actually kind of good. How much do I have? 11? I'm going to buy these two. This game's easy enough at the moment. I might as well just go kind of nuts and see what I can do with it. Uh, let's see. Okay, sell the pig. Doesn't give me too much money. Uh, let's see. So do we want to buy Penetration? Do we want to buy the Rocket Launcher? I don't know. I'm just going to buy whatever. Uh, we'll get the water Watermelon Launcher too. And I'm going to get rid of the Random Nails. I don't think they're going to benefit me. And I'm probably just not interested in using them either. Okay. Summon Creatures, Extra Health. No. Mow Down. Eh. Those are okay. And we could buy another Penetration and another Watermelon. So jumps and deals 5 AoE damage. Unfortunately, I don't actually think piercing affects watermelons, so uh, it doesn't quite fit the bill. It doesn't seem like the eyeballs work either. Let's see. Hey, do we actually care about grabbing any of these? The answer is no. I'm just going to save my money. We could actually upgrade the shop a little bit more. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Boy, the sheer amount of... Uh, bodies left behind are kind of horrifying. Uh, so in case it's not immediately obvious, this is made by the same developer that made uh, Despotism uh, 3K and also Despot's Game, uh, both of which were actually pretty solid. I, the first one was kind of like a weird strategy incremental roguelike man management rogue. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, I didn't get too far in it because it was also kind of hard. I guess while I'm here, I might as well fuse my pistol down. I don't think I'm going to go up to tier 3 with it, just because it doesn't seem like it's worth it. I do want to grab as much DNA as I possibly can, though. Because this is our meta currency, and it would not do to end this run without it. Okay, so what do we want to do? More watermelons? It feels like, oddly enough, I'm actually going for more of a... Uh, Oddly enough, I'm going for more of a, a low-key explosive build. We got some projectiles for sure. But the explosives are maybe probably going to be my focus. I don't know. Once again, my deck right now is kind of bad. It's just whatever they gave me and I can't, uh, I couldn't manage it going into this. At least I don't think I could have. And so I'm just rolling with whatever seems vaguely right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start hoarding pigs just to see if I can get, like, a high-tier version. A boss? That's new. Well, unfortunately for me, it's off-camera. Okay, there he is. He doesn't seem that tough. There's also one of the only bullet heavens I can think of where you're not really actively encouraged to avoid... Oh. Wait, we just win. There's going to be a kick-ass reward screen here at some point, but for now you just get this. So we get flashes, damage to anyone who gets too close. Uh, anything else? No. Alright. 
Let's go back for a hot second. We got some upgrades. Uh, let's see. Reduce damage when you drop below 10% health. Gains health when you upgrade a skill in your inventory. Snag that. Uh, seems like everything else is actually... Oh, we got to beat level 2 before I even unlock it. So, yeah, we'll just put a point into everything. Let's take a look at my deck. Okay, so I guess first and foremost, we have zombies. They're worthless to me. Uh, let's see. Actually, do we even need to have all of this stuff? Yeah, not enough abilities. I wonder how many is how many are required. So let's start with just a bunch of projectiles. Uh, let's see. C tier. Okay, here we go. We have a shotgun. Summon creature. Fire horizon. Grab the rocket launcher. Okay. Target a boomerang. Electric shot. Burning nuggets. AOE, AOE ability is not getting his back. Let's see. There. Still not enough ability, so maybe we have to get up to 20. Okay. Still not enough. I just want to stay away from the summon gear if I can get it. Ah, looks like I'm going to need one more. We'll, we'll grab something kind of at this far end. Or... Oh. It actually seems like I need something on the lower end. Possibly a B-tier B weapon. Because it looks like we're good on D, so that... Still not enough abilities. What am I... Oh. Huh. All right. Fair enough. So you need to fill each and every one of those slots. Actually, it feels like I gained cards here, but whatever. Okay, Hallway of Death. Slime loses onward. it's onwards and has to kill everyone again, as always. Let's head for that objective. The slime is so cute. I, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Uh, The developer for this... The developer at the... Uh, I actually don't know who did the art for these games. They did a dang good job. Let's just buy that and upgrade the shop immediately. Once again, going for the green abilities aren't that helpful. D tier is kind of a... Uh, I don't want to call it an albatross, but it's not particularly necessary. Or... It's not particularly good. And so I could sit around until I max out a bunch of those abilities. I'm just not going to benefit from it. Okay. Said, I think I'm gonna buy flashes and pistol. There we go. Yeah, so whenever I'm touched, I do an AoE. Boy, this level is weirdly large. I was gonna come out here for the free level up and, uh,. It's apparently a bit of a trial to get out here. And do I want the shooting or the eye launcher? Really? What happened? What? Huh. Was not expecting this. Okay, let's just pop a bunch of these open, buy a bunch of watermelons, flashes. Upgrade the shop. Okay, any of these particularly amazing? Not really, no. So I'll just save my dosh. Rocket launcher, some more flashes. I think we're just gonna stay away from projectiles in general if I can. We're just going to see what happens. Actually, I'm just going to die, is the answer. There's been, like, no health. Oh, nope, there it is. Let's see, do I want to grab the shotgun? Sure. There we go. Let's see. I don't see any of these that are amazing. I could go for a restock. What I need is... Flashes, yes. 
Really, I need a watermelon. I could grab the scythe rang, targeted boomerang. I think I'm actually just gonna sell the scythe rang. So I can get a rocket launcher. There's the watermelon. Okay. So I don't know what that gem was for exactly, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Sell the shotgun? Sell the shotgun. I don't think I need it. Now, at least. Like, is it good? Probably. Do I need it? No. Splashes, watermelon. And 19 to upgrade the shop. But um, not immediately or amazingly useful. I actually really like those wheels. They don't do that much damage, but they do enough. I think I am just going to hang out here. Most of my enemies are approaching laterally, uh, which is pretty strong considering one of my biggest attacks is just lateral wheels. Okay. Please, for the love of everything. Ooh. Also lateral wheels. If I do a restock... Okay, perfect. Okay, so watermelons are up. Could do a restock, but I think I'll just wait. Buy the rocket launcher. And then we'll just hang. Every time I upgrade one of these abilities, it increases my max HP by 100, which is actually really cool. It does mean going for those D tier upgrades aren't the worst idea. Probably. Okay, flashes are now done. We've maxed those out conclusively. Eat wheels, boyo. I should probably go over here. Why am I fast now? I have no idea. I was kind of hoping with a... Uh, reduced... Cool. I'd be able to buy more. I guess let's let's just save up so I can get the next level of upgrade. Uh, I was hoping the upgrades I'm looking for would actually show up more often, but uh, apparently not. All right, whatever. Whoa! They just clown card. Uh, let's see. Let's upgrade the shop. Cause yeah, we want to increase our chances of getting like blue and gr gray upgrades whenever and wherever we can. Well, we're going to get the rocket launcher. This might actually be one of the better runs I've ever done of this game. Yeah, let's just save her dosh. Because the last couple times I was very particular about upgrading my D rank abilities. And now I've just completely switched back to, hey, but what if I had the big guns? They're not actually that strong yet, but I'm assuming that is liable to change. Oh, it's a Dalek. Oh, it is an enemy. Of course. And this might be the next boss. Uh, let's see. Well, burning wheel level three. Burning wheel level three. Do we roll down until we rocket launcher? Maybe. Okay. Only downside to this is now I am... Um, well, I guess we'll buy the shotgun just for the meantime. Oh, wait. The shotgun is just straight up... Uh, of course you'd actually be able to see these on my character model. Uh, I was wondering about that a little bit. It's like, yeah, what is this random stuff on me? And the answer is, of course. I I think I might have to just pick this shotgun now. Whenever it pops up, just just to have a, a giant boomstick sticking out of my slime. That was... Oh, no, that was the end. Okay, so we got... Increases bonus drop rate by 10%. Oof. Uh, let's see. I want to switch my deck around, but not yet. Less health, moves faster. All homing projectiles pierce the first target. Ocular. Got to beat level 4. I think I'm just going to stick with my default deck for now. We want to get to the point where we're kind of on... Uh, a more endless mode. Or at least a longer one. Don't forget to add some AoE to the deck editor. Way ahead of you. 
I wonder if it just grabs, like, whatever your most powerful gun is. That's gonna be my assumption. Okay. Random nails. Long cooldown. Good for AoE, though. Yeah, I'll just get the nails. I think I will still go for the, uh... Okay, this hurts. Okay. I'm probably host. Let's try that again. Same deal. Yeah, we need that AoE. Uh, those dudes with the claws kind of hurt. Okay, let's actually grab flashes and random dart for now. Yeah, there's only so much I can do about any of these. I'll make it work. Oh, let's upgrade the shop and grab the watermelon launcher. This is gonna hurt a smidge until we get it going. There we go, that should be enough. I'm just buying any anything right now. I'll be more particular as we get further. Let's see, do we want Pierce? No. I think I'm just gonna do a redux of my, oh, that well, that worked out great. I'm definitely noticing a lot more power-ups, which is very nice. Upgrade this shop more than anything else. Like, I could buy the scythe, so I could upgrade my gun. Uh, we might want to do that. Because remember, upgrading things gets me money. I'm not going to waste on rerolls, though. That's the one thing. And I can only sell these for, I think, most of what I paid for them. I'm not entirely clear on that one. I'm still not sure what the, uh, the scoop gets me. Yes, yeah, so I'll keep working on flashes. I'll probably want, probably want to not go past. Well, that worked out. Okay, let's get rid of the random darts. And the random nails. Can't do piggy bank. But we can upgrade the shop for more watermelon. No flashes, but whatever. Okay. More rocket launcher. More shotgun. Let's not restock yet. There's flashes. Oh. My pistol is actually kind of close to maxing out. So sure, I might as well do that while we're here. If I can. Uh, let's get rid of the scythe. Or, you know what? I'm just going to sell the guns. Yeah. This kind of works. We'll always have plenty of opportunities to upgrade everything. I should have upgraded the shop, but that was just way too good of a loadout. I guess I could have actually uh, locked much of it. And that would have done the trick, but whatever, it doesn't matter that much. There we go, I love the splat boost. I know, there's just something very satisfying of watching my slime just splat out and then reform 
uh, after just demolishing everything. Still don't know what gems do, though. Like, I keep seeing the gem scoop, and it keeps not doing anything to my knowledge. Unless it's spawning a bunch of enemies, and maybe that's the trick. I must quaff. Okay. Do I do anything else, or do I wait? I think I'm just going to keep waiting. No reason for me to get hasty here. Okay. Inventory is pretty full. But that's okay. That just means we're primed for a bunch of upgrades. So we now have Watermelon level 3. Flash is almost level 3. And now I'm not going to waste money on rerolls unless I'm feeling desperate. But I'm not at the moment. Okay, there goes Doc Ock. Another big splat? Yeah. Oh, I see. We're just supposed to be here for like four minutes. I just straight up ignored the timer at the top because... Timer? Okay, perfect. Got level three. And yeah, I'll just keep working on other stuff. I, unfortunately, me bringing up Doc Ock because of that one enemy has sent me on a kind of a weird spiral where I'm trying to remind myself of the plot of the uh, Marvel Spider-Man game. Uh, no, I think I'm just going to save. Or at least wait. We're kind of clobbering as it is, so I don't, I don't care too much. And my max HP is... Amazing. Yeah, no, moving fast does not let me run over enemies. It's a bit of a shame, that, but whatever. But I haven't played the new... Sp uh, I haven't played the new Spider-Man game, and... I don't think I will for at least a while yet. Probably after the... Uh, ooh, projectiles deal more damage to each additional target. Needle shotgun. Yeah, I'll buy it. I've never gone up that far in the rankings, so it's kind of tempting. That said... Uh, we do also have Nuggets of Darkness. I wish I could actually load those up, but whatever. Oh, those needles are cool. Okay. Keep that on... Let's see. Burning wheels? Burning wheels, and we're going to lock those two. At least I've got a couple of upgrades to work with. Uh, let's see. Here's where restocking might be vaguely useful. Also, the wrench. Rocket launch. Is there anything I want to sell because I don't want it anymore? It's slightly tempting to get rid of the needle shotgun, just because. Oh, that's electric shots. We don't have that this run. Because <sighs> all I need is a wheel. There it is. That was wasteful. I don't know if I care. Uh, let's get the shotgun. Because now we've got double shotgun. Those two are locked. There we go. And like I said, smidge wasteful. Not sure if I care. Boy, these dudes with fridges are tanky. But we kind of knew that going in. Any man that can carry a fridge around like that is going to be a tanky man. Ah, uh, you know what? Cool down two seconds. I'm actually going to get rid of flashes at this point. I'm going to get nuggets of darkness, but that's probably a mistake.
We're gonna lock that for the time being. We'll just make some money. As we reload. I'm still here for a while. Dang. This is actually getting a little on the hairy side. All the karate Steves are an issue. Okay, buy the Nugget of Darkness. Buy the wheel. Max the wheel out. Okay, so the wheel is done. Shotgun is soon to follow. Rocket launcher also soon to follow. Getting these maxed out actually is probably going to save my bacon here. Because yeah, these splat upgrades are no longer killing my enemies. We're also lacking like any kind of cool synergy upgrades, which is probably also part of my problem. And there's like a gazillion wizards back there that are just shooting at me. Which is not great. Okay, I think I get rid of the wizards. Turns out the trick is that that piercing shotgun is really good. Also the nuggets. Oh, the nuggets are doing tons. Okay, rocket launcher is now properly maxed out and we can start getting the needle shotgun up the cap. I thought I'd be kind of hosed for some of these runs because I don't have the good stuff yet. And the answer is I got the good stuff. Apparently. Okay. Do I want any of these? Because there's the single electric shock. And not overwhelmingly, no. I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put holes in things. Keep looking for these diamonds, whatever they are. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not leveling up that fast. Puts me in a bit of a bit of an issue. Okay. Cooldown, boomerang, has good aer aerodynamics. I guess I suppose I could go for the caliper fang. Or a caliper rang. Or we could try and go for another upgrade because I think we still have one more tier that we haven't even cracked. Like, I think there are S tier upgrades that just haven't shown up yet. But we also only have 30 seconds left, so... Just wade in, into the midst of this mess. Those splat bursts don't do good damage anymore. That's wild. I was so reliant on them to not die in the demo version of this. All right. Powerful and self-guided. Shooting eyes as its perks. Sounds good. And we'll grab another level of nugget of darkness. I'll probably just try and max those two out and the needle shotgun. Because the Needle Shotgun, I think, is one of my primary clear powers. Okay. Farewell, regular shotgun. You were probably cool. Upgrade the shop again. Alright, there's all of our options now, at the very least. I think I'm actually going to have to routinely pick up health, just to keep us, uh, keep us alive. Uh, let's see, summon tentacle undead? Eh. I guess I should figure out where the boss is. Oh, it's the, it's the cabbage. I recognize that thing from the level I've never been to. I guess it kind of went there. Hey! So we got an assault rifle, banana rang, and a f uh, flammable concoction. And fire beam. I think we might want to actually start looking into changing my build. 
Uh, so let's go home for a hot second. Let's go to upgrades. Uh, so we can now do use more abilities at once. And then also increase our base health by a bit. Both of these are kind of expensive, but we are getting there. Oh. Have four level three abilities tagged finance in your inventory at once. Tagged shot in your inventory at once. Three level one abilities tagged random in your inventory at once. A level four with six targeted abilities. Okay. Deck one. Okay, here we go. So, shot targeted, random, chaos and piercing, AoE. Targeted. I don't think we have enough finance. Let's see. I'm gonna grab the fire beam. Yeah, how many S abilities do I need? All four. One more A ability. Let's go with the brass knuckles. I need one more B ability, so we'll do the fire wheel. I need one more C ability. Or two more C abilities, so let's grab those two. Oh, no. Let's do shots, pierce. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of random. Yeah, I wish boomerang and random had different markers. Not that big of a deal, but still. Okay, so we... Solid, set, set is active. Okay, so... Nope, go back to upgrades. So... Six abilities with targeted in your inventory, and three abilities with shots. Which I believe we have both of those. Because shot and targeted. So I need the pistol, the AK, and the shotgun. At least. And that should be doable. Now I could also swap for this, but we don't have homing. And yeah. What was the other one? There was something about level four. Oh, that's level 7, so I guess that's a little not doable. This one is, though. Oh, these two are very doable. We don't have enough random yet. Oh. And we can boost the slime explosion, so yeah, let's get that. I like the meta progression. That's actually kind of solid. Make me work for it. And also do more interesting things. I mean, a lot of them are just, like, bonus effects. But I still prefer more interesting bonus effects than just plus health or damage. I've played a couple of Bullet Heavens la lately that's just like, hey, you know, grind for this extremely hard to get currency. It's really. Uh, grind, grind for these ex extremely hard to get currencies. Uh, one second. The watermelon launcher. Going for targeted if I can. And the game delivers. Uh, but it was like action. Sorry. It's easily. Or it's easy to get distracted here. Uh, it was like grind for maybe an hour's worth of runs just to get a 5% damage up. And it's like, nope, that's. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good in the slightest. Okay. I think I'll skip Flash for today. It's not particularly amazing anyway. I like that the assault rifle does actually require a reload. That feels really good to me. Just want 
these two because we don't care about cha chaos or piercing. Yeah, and the damage on that has gone up. So it's not going to be as useless as it was. Huzzah! There we go. For the people that are going to be yelling at me, why aren't you upgrading your shop? It's because it's actually giving me what I want. And also the uh, shop gets cheaper to upgrade every time you open, uh, open it up. So it actually kind of works in my favor to be a little stodgy about it if you're finding what you need. That's just level two. There we go. Yeah, so for example, upgrading the shop there only cost one. It's gonna cut my rarities a little bit, but who cares? Okay, I'm just gonna hang out down here for a smidge. I wanna get enough enemies in this general vicinity that I can hit the gumball machine and not have it be a waste. I don't think I can buy this. I'll lock it for now. Because it is something I need. But it's not something I need amazingly fast. Why do I... Why do I have a vending machine all the way out here? Also, cripes. I think the, uh... Oh, well... unlock we need to get piercing and we need to get gun and we need to get watermelon but ah. yeah I just have too many things at level 2 right now so we're just going to upgrade the shop the upgrades I'm looking for will show up just maybe not immediately There we are. Uh, so what am I... I'm trying to get this. There. Start working on those. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. There's the shotgun. And we've almost got a salt rifle. Uh, do I start working on watermelon as well? Yeah. Let's just kind of chew through these guys. They hurt a bit. They hurt a lot. Okay, level three. Salt rifle, that's good. More piercing. And plenty of money left over to go big here. So we could get Banana Rang. The fact that there is potentially a food build delights me. It is targeted. Like, it could be better. It might be targeted. Uh, it might be better specifically than the watermelons. I'm not particularly big on the watermelons, so I'll probably get rid of them as soon as something better presents itself, but I don't think that's going to be the banana rang. Oh, wait, yes. That solves a lot of my problems, actually. There we go. Yeah, we're mowing through them. It's a little slow, but otherwise not too bad. Let's see, do we want to go for the scythes? Not really. Like, I have them, but they don't do that much damage. Just gumball it. Okay, anything else? Piercing. So that's level 3 piercing. Uh, do we upgrade shop? Yeah. I'm 
probably good. I don't think I need to just pick up an ability for the sake of it. I could pick up Banana Rang. We'll have to see how they perform. It seems like the Banana Rang... Eh, credit, credit is due. It does do a lot of damage. Now, we do also have the Rocket Launcher, which I think fits my build a little bit better. Let's sell the Banana Rang. But even, even the Rocket Launcher, I'm probably going to just get rid of. Okay, we are starting to take a lot of damage here. I guess it's because the Fridgemen have showed up. And the Karate Boys. Okay, upgrade the shop again. I think part of my problem is I'm just getting offered a lot of just eh, junk. Junk that I don't need too bad, uh, too much. Okay, let's try and stay out of the midst. If I can. I don't know, do I start... <sighs> Yeah, how do I want to handle this? Because I'm taking a lot of damage here. This is where passives like armor would actually come in handy. AoE, AoE abilities knock enemies back, which is... 6 of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, let's get rid of the Scytherang. Because I have my three guns. Here for another five minutes. Uh... I don't think so. But I think I do want the fire beam. And we uh, assuredly want the needle shotgun. So let's get rid of the watermelon at this point. There we go. That should be exactly what I'm looking for and then some. Oh, that's what the that's what that do. I'm kind of trying to use the needle shotgun here. Ow. To punch through the crowds. Okay. They hurt a lot. Uh, let's see. Now this is, oh, it's a shotgun. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Targeted shotgun, but it is not a targeted shot. So I, I am stuck with the pistol shotgun. Got it. Do we want to pick up the rocket launcher? It's like moderately okay. I think I'd rather save my money and just hope we find the good stuff. Homing in darkness. More of that. Yeah, let's just sell the rocket launcher now. I don't think that counts for what I'm trying to do, though. We do have the Caliper Rang, which actually is pretty good for what I'm kind of going for. Now, honestly, I'd actually maybe consider getting rid of the Fire Beam more than anything else. This is not really jiving. It does do a lot of damage, I'll give it that. Okay. Any of these? No. Any of these? Still no. Uh, 
Okay, max that out. That's good. Good work on that. Let's get rid of that. I think I'm going to get rid of the... F uh, do we get rid of the fire beam? No. We'll buy it. It's a good sweep. Problem is I need two shotguns. There they are. Okay, I need one more. Gonna roll. Got it. Alright. Caliparang is now in play. My HP, not so much in play. But at least we have kind of a functional something. So many. We might actually have to go back at uh, tier level. Because, yeah, just don't do enough damage to these lads. And that's a problem. Okay, we've got another couple of somethings. Ah. Uh, yes. We don't have enough space. I think I'm going to lose that for the time being, just so I have enough space. I still don't think I'm going to use it, though. And that doesn't do enough damage. Which is... Uh, problems? It's problems. Hello, yes. Man dying. Oh, grab the health. It doesn't heal nearly enough. I was kind of hoping just having Super Pierce that extends forever would work, and the answer is no. Uh, let's go for that. I have a lot of money. I think I need to roll down. It's not going to give me what I want. I need three of those. They're kind of rare. One in ten chance. I could have gone for a shop upgrade to boost the chances, but... Uh... Nope. Boy, I'm gonna need some upgrades on that. Does that health pick up? Oh, I have no idea. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Whoa. At least I should have got a lot of points out of that one. Okay, so what do we get? Dual wielding, targeted abilities, fire second projectile in the opposite direction, and supreme shotgun. Money make it rain. Okay, let's go back in the main menu for a hot second. So we didn't actually... Oh, we did. So it's just at once. You don't have to... This is the one where you have to win. We might want to save up for some of those. I don't actually know if the armor is even that good. Let's see, four level three abilities, tagged finance. I don't think we have that. And then random, which I also don't think we have. Whoops, quit out of the game. Uh, you know what, actually? that's We're still at a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. We're getting stymed a little bit by some of the difficulty levels, which means I'm going to have to go and... Uh, well... We're just going to have to keep playing. Uh, maxing out the meta progression is probably going to make the biggest difference here, but also getting a couple of very specialized decks uh, that can tackle some of these things. So, for example, Shot Targeted Finance is a good shotgun. I will have to give that a, a roll, see if it's good. Do we have enough for fi- No, that's not fat Finance. This is just a passive. Oh, it is just a passive, not Finance. Yeah, so I think we are short one. There's a coin launcher. Uh, 
Let's see, and that's targeted abilities. Shoot behind me. Let's go pierce. That's random. You don't count. Okay. But I do think I should probably kind of call it quits at some point here. Oh, for a second I thought it was saying that uh, Fiery Horizon actually is a uh, targeted move and I was going to be slightly confused by that. Oh, that's darkness, not targeted. Because that's targeted, that's targeted, that's targeted, and that's targeted. And then there's, there's no targeting up here. Just pick whatever, we just need to fill slots. At some point, we're gonna get a targeted food S rank ability. But not yet. So, right, we haven't beaten Flashy yet. So either way, I think this is a good stopping point, at least for now. Uh, I think I will come back and play some more of this. Uh, maybe I'll stream it, maybe I'll just do a bunch of random videos, who knows? Uh, but just to say that Slime 3K is available now on Steam, and it is dirt cheap. Uh, I don't actually know ex exactly what the price is, but the tagline in the email that I received said is less than five bucks. So that should be pretty good. I'm recording this like a week in advance. Uh, ah, this is just telling me my upgrades. So I was like, oh, please don't have a cash shop. And I'm glad to say they don't. Cool. Anyway, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.